Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and yesterday I updated OpenCore Legacy Patcher to 2.1.0, and to my surprise, there's a new version out already, 2.1.1, which came out today, one day later, and it says, resolve Boolean GUI settings saving incorrectly as Python's non-type. And from what I gather, this means that OpenCore Legacy Patcher app was not saving your settings correctly somewhere in there because now with the latest version 2.1.0 it remembers the custom settings you save in the GUI. So this is just a fix for that. Uh, I, I don't think there's anything major going on here but it could be that when you rebooted it wasn't remembering the settings that you had made. You should always stay up to date. Obviously this was something they needed to fix right away so they came out with it today. So let's install the update 2.1.1 and I'll leave the link to the change log in the video description because it's always a good idea to look at this before you update. So yeah, basically it's saying that certain GUI settings were not saving correctly, and this fixes that issue. So we're just downloading the OpenCore Patcher 2.1.1. So what this is doing initially is just updating the application that is stored on your Mac. And you can see that I'm already running 2.1.0. And we'll just speed this process up. It's installing the app. Update is complete. So we've updated the app. Now, would you like to update OpenCore and your root volume patches? Yes, we would. So we're gonna build and install OpenCore. Install to disk. Select our EFI that OpenCore is installed on, which is my Samsung 970 Evo Plus and my Mac Pro 2013, the trash can. So now we're installing OpenCore to disk. OpenCore is finished installing the disk. Would you like to update your patches? So yes. So we hit start to root patching and it's gonna go through, see what patches we have, which ones need to be updated. Some can be left alone. Uh, it's skipping the KDK, which is your graphics package. Uh, but then it does go update some other stuff that has to do with graphics. So you can see it's overriding AMD 7000 controller, blah, blah, blah. And once this is done with the root patching, you reboot after the patches are done installing and you are done updating OpenCore. And it's always the same process. You update the app, you install OpenCore to disk, and then you update your root patches. That is the usual process. And this process is exactly the same on the Mac Pro 5,1. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Mac Sound Solutions video.